everyone. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. It's Bobby at Bloomin' Hearts. And I wanted to show you a card that I saw on the internet, um, on YouTube. This is, um, it was done by Darlene DeVries. And she had used a stamp set. It was a large stamp set where she had her background and flowers all in one. And she embossed the entire card. And then did it in black ink. And I really liked the idea and the layout, but I didn't have what she had. So what I did was I took my black cardstock and I embossed it with the stripe embossing folder. I think maybe you can see the stripes there. And uh, then I used the Whisper White cardstock and I embossed the, I think it's called Sweet Briar, yeah, Sweet Briar Rose. I embossed it with white embossing powder. And it's hard to see the white on white. I was going to do a video on this color, but you just absolutely can't see it. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing, so um, I'm going to do it with a different color today. And then I used this little scripted thanks to put along the end of the banner. But I wanted to show you real quickly. There's no real science to how you cut this. I just laid the pieces together. And I'll show you how I did that. I've got one stamped here on very vanilla and I know you can't see that but it's um, roughly between uh, three and a quarter and three and a half wide and I've got it stamped pretty much in the center but I have more of a margin at the bottom so that when I cut it off I've still got room for the thanks so I just line it up over to the right with how whatever margin I want like so and then I laid it down and gave myself a margin on the other side so that I'll have a a balance there on both sides and then you want a shorter cut here and then a longer cut here so I just there's no real measurement to it I just laid it where I thought it looked good to me and I cut it off both of them together at the same time that way you'll get the same angle on both then you want to line up this point with however sharp you want this cut to be and I want it to be at a pretty good angle not real sharp but so then you'll cut that side get through the watermelon wonder this one is Sahara sand watermelon wonder and very vanilla so now that when you color it and you lift this up, you'll have a perfect margin on both sides. If I centered, I will. There you go. Like so. And then we'll just trim it off when we get it on the card. Okay, let me get rid of this real quick. Save all my pieces that are big enough I can reuse them. I don't throw anything away. I try not to anyway. Okay. Now on this very vanilla you know and I've cut one done one on Sahara sand with the uh, uh, watermelon wonder behind it and I've also I've done two stripes folders one in each color and I thought I would layer it this way and then this way but for the purpose of the video you can see this one better. Now on this one I'm going to use the daubers and the Sahara sand ink because it's really hard to see but I want to stay as much away from the edges as I can and I'm not the best with the daubers so I'm going to stamp off and go off the side and just lightly barely touch the cardstock to add a little color because I don't want it to be real dark um, outside of the flowers. I'm going to have to feather it out some so that it shows. I hope I'm in frame where you can see what I'm doing. I'm just lightly touching the flowers so that the embossing shows up. And I don't want it to be really, really dark. Just barely touching them. And there will be some outside of the uh, image area but you can always come back and make the image a little bit darker and then feather out your 
embossing outside of the image. I just don't want to leave any swirly circles where it's obvious that I was using a dauber. And I think I just got a swirly circle there. But I wanted to get all of the leaves that are kind of off to the side. Okay, now I'm just going to try to feather it out a little bit. It goes pretty fast on this one. It takes a little bit longer when you do it with your water brush. I'm not crazy about this. I'm not a real good sponger, I'll have to admit to you. It's not my real cup of tea. Let's see what it does if I rub this over it. I just don't like the swirly marks that you get with it. And I can still see them. I wonder if because it's water-based if I can take some of it out. may help a little bit. I just didn't want it quite that dark in there. But anyway, once I finish the color, you can see that in there. And if I go back and make the, the centers darker and leave the outside lighter, then I can keep feathering out the edges. And the darker you get the flowers, the better the design shows up. The white really stands out. So, I will finish feathering out the edges. I may decide I want to fussy cut it too, I don't know. But anyway, it will, it will go on here like so when I'm done. That I'm not completely happy with. So, I'm going to use the soft suede and the water brush to color in the other one. And the water brush is here. So, you get the. There's not much water in that. Let me get the other one. There it is. Yeah, we'll use this one. It's got plenty of water in it get the water flowing in it. Make sure my hands aren't wet. Okay, so I'm just going to take the water brush and thin out this paint. Where you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to lightly paint in the flowers. I know they say in watercolor you can get outside the lines if you want to, but being an oil painter for many years, it's hard for me to go outside the lines and feel like I didn't do something wrong. I'm just filling in with light color. And it's the Sahara Sand Ink Pad. And we'll do the leaves as well. All in a really light coat. And you can always go back with stronger ink where you think there should be shadows. And that way you'll end up with some highlights as well. So it doesn't take too long this way. And the embossing powder will keep you from your color from bleeding out as long as you don't get huge amounts of water. So 
sometimes these water cans will shoot out big globs of water. So I'll get these stems in here. getting there. You know, and I used um, white embossing powder on this one as well, but on the cardstock it looks like it's more of a light brown or a gold goldish colored embossing, but it's not. It's white. So I've got one more flower and a few leaves left. So far my favorite of these is the red and black one, but for the purposes of the video you just absolutely couldn't see anything that I was doing. I made the video last night with those colors and when I reviewed it you couldn't see what I was doing at all. So I said, well I'm going to delete that and start over with a color that's at least visible for the video. But I want it to be all one color. So, a few leaves here and then we're done with this. I think I will go back and put in some darker colors though so you can differentiate between the petals. But that won't take too terribly long because they're, they're kind of small. Need a bit more. Okay, now let's get a little stronger of the Sahara sand. And just from the center of each flower, too much water. From the center, just pulled out some strokes. I'm going to put a little dark in here where one petal overlaps the other. Kind of just let your water flow and feather it out a little bit. And there's petals in the back, so we'll put some more dark in there. I'm still trying to get comfortable with these type of brushes. Sometimes you just get way too much water. And it's difficult for me to, after working in oils for so many years and you have total control with your oil paint and just a regular brush and then when I get these huge amounts of water flying out of there, it's like, oh lord, what do I do with this? I don't like doing it on cardstock as well as on the the other paper that's really intended for the wet use. This is not. So a little vein in the leaf here. And down the stem.
Okay. How are we getting there? And then when it's dry, enough that you can add something else to it, um, you can take just a white pencil and go over your highlighted areas and it really adds dimension to it. A little bit more dark in here. Just add some dimension here. Sure, it's dry. Make sure my white pencil is sharp. 